Welcome back to Lost Dimension. Last time we completed yet another mission in the final floor. And now we only have one uh, mission that we can do at this point. We have put this off as long as we can. We have to do the main story mission now. And its difficulty is listed as lower than any of these ones. And seeing as I... Sorry. As I S-ranked all three on my first try. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure this really bodes well for this mission. Let me see. Another defeat all enemies. Uh, lots of experience reward. And one extra gift experience from this. Another life pack plus as an S rank reward. Probably gonna want to get that. So enemies, Ilex X, Flamma O, and we have an Impetus and an Arbaris. Now Arbaris is a pretty much pathetic at this point, so I'm not really worried. But I wonder what Flamma O's can do. And we're split into two groups. So uh, what I'm thinking is I want one of my high movement uh movements. <laughs> Just try to say high movers and then high movement and they mix up. Uh, one of my high movement characters on either side. So you go there and you go there. Now Show is kind of like a long range gun user which uh, Toya is kind of I guess a counterpart on that side so I'll put Toya over there and then well we have now we have left the super physical powerhouse and the super um, special powerhouse, so um, they'll go... I think I'll put Yoko there and Nagi there. I mean Mana there. Already put Nagi there. Let's begin! wonder if we'll get any cutscenes before this one, seeing as this is an actual main story mission. I'm starting to wonder when the actual final battle is going to show up, whether it's going to be on its own floor or not. Okay, so you do get a cutscene. Ah, you finally made it to the upper stratum. Upper stratum. So this is the last floor? Same as before. Same as before. Yeah, I wonder if there is some kind of a um, alternate universe thing going on here. In the end, you survived. It's no different now than it was in the past. Yeah, I get the feeling things are going to be revealed soon, but I already have kind of a vague idea of what might be happening. You always choose to erase others and never yourself. You're the one who always survives. Hmm. Well, you can't actually vote for yourself in the gameplay, so we don't really have a choice. Trampling over the bodies you sacrificed. What are you talking about? The truth is, I don't care what happens to the world. Let it burn. Or not. <laughs> There's no meaning in any of it, one way or the other. All that matters is I will never forgive you. It's easy to see you hold a clear intent to kill me. But why is that? Why don't you give me an answer already, the end? Why not search your memories? So, he's saying search your feelings, you know it to be true? You don't plan on telling me, do you? So be it. If this really is the last floor, that means your physical body should be nearby. We'll find you soon enough. We'll find you and we'll defeat you. Just as self-righteous as ever. You make me sick. Well, let's have it your way. Come and get me. I won't run. After everything you've done in the past, you have no guilt sacrificing more lives. You deserve to die. We're coming for you, the end. Let's do this. We still don't quite know what's going on here, but... And it seems this area loaded in uh, that the end cutscene. Oh, looks like we've got two of these New Game Plus only doors. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, Flammer Odium, not Omega. Okay. Weak to gunfire. So, yeah, we still haven't quite figured out what the end wants, but this apparently has all happened before. That's interesting.
Oh, hey, look, there's a treasure chest here that's not trapped. That's surprising. And doesn't look like we... Well, we might actually be able to get back attacks on this thing. I kind of want to see if I can get a good... Uh, where is it? Yeah, let's get punishment on this thing. The vision unfolds. There. Well, just seal, but did take off more than half its health. Hey, and I preempted its counter-attack and got a critical shot, so... And turned it around. Interesting. Looks like we can probably take this thing out right now. And assist shot. And it's down. Wow, that's a lot of critical damage. Didn't even need Yoko for that. I was kind of thinking that I would need her. Now let's see. Most feels like it'd make more sense letting everyone come to us and then, uh... Okay, there's a file there. And a chest there. Or perhaps we should circle around. One team goes up and the other team goes down. That sounds like a good plan. You're weak to gunfire. Maybe I should just use... Uh, I don't... I mean, that's a lot of sanity, though. Maybe I shouldn't exactly blow that too early. Let's just demotivate you. And now... Okay, Arbaris. Arbaris Finis. Let me just check. So, you are weak to special. Oh, but we don't have stairs leading straight down. We have stairs down the sides, which means we can't quite fully get around you. I doubt that's going to do very much, so... Um That make more sense just use a regular melee attack. And that certainly lagged a lot for some reason. Commencing assault. And let's begin. And I think Toya should start because should actually commence the assault here. Uh, yeah, I can't get behind you. Hmm. Lava burst 140. I think the lightning attacks do more. And that'll get an assist. Yeah, the one that adds high voltage charges. Seems like it's, yeah, it can't quite get assist, which is annoying. So I'll just go for a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt! And the non... <laughs> the resistance attack did more. question is, can I finish you now? I probably could if I use the right attack. Satellite, dive, dragon dive, silent... Could go for silent slash. Though this does more damage from behind. Or I could use quantum blade. Or I could use armor crush. But no, I think I can probably just, um... And again... Yeah, let's use armor crush. Okay, that thing's definitely dead. Well, that's both boss-type enemies down. Now I can just focus on the stragglers. Except you, uh, yeah, have very, very high... Did you just shoot the... Yeah, you, shoot, you shot your ally. And with your ally being demotivated... Uh, okay then. That did nothing. Demotivation must be pretty powerful then. Okay, there's a file there, but is that the same one? Or is that different? Okay, we have incoming from... There seems to be converging there. Let's go. Let's see. 
so where are the enemies? We've got a lot of enemies up that side and a couple of enemies converging down there. But I think since most of them are focusing their attentions on Yoko here, I might want to cover her first. Let's see. That ignition didn't really seem to be all that powerful, so this time I'm just going to go straight for... Um, not I'll crush you. Stay back. Stay back! <laughs> Someone's dazed already. <laughs> and away we go. Okay, back to this team. Go. I guess Sho still has Rubble Strike. Though, that would hit my ally. Which is not good. But, if I use the rubble strike around here, I can hit both of you and not hit Yoko as well. And bonk, and they're both dead. Let's get this show on the road. Yeah, there must be some kind of file in there. And I'll finish you. And then, since they're going up, this team is going to go down. We have one flammer behind us, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And she will use her uh, Quake Attack. That's not going to hit anyone? Good. That did a heck of a lot of damage to the front one. Meanwhile, Nagi is going to... See. Okay, she's in between them, so getting an area attack on both of these without hitting mana is not really possible, but we don't exactly need an area attack on both of them. Well, seeing as we can quite easily take out this Flummer right now with, uh... The Flummers are weak to gunfire, aren't they? So if I use a Coil Shot... Uh, don't get the assist from Mana, though. Maybe it's best if I send Nagi in first. So that Nagi is in range of that one. Have Nagi take this thing out, and then at least I get an assist from Nagi if I go this way. Well then. That sounds better. Go for the coil shot, and yeah, from long range, get the assist. And now, don't miss, and this will definitely work. Only three enemies left, according to those squares up there, so uh, we just need to grab the chests and that file and finish off the remaining enemies, and we should be pretty much good. Looks like it's coming to a close. I have an obligation to save the world, so I have to kill the ant. Oh, suddenly a voice cutscene. That was uh, unexpected. And of course you'll help me. We've fought side by side long enough that you have a duty to protect the world as well. So I'm counting on you. I came here in order to carry out justice, to defeat evil and save the world. So basically everyone who's made it this far is giving a line pretty much, I think. So, these will probably be different on repeat playthroughs. But thinking back on it, I was simply enthralled that I was meeting out punishment. I didn't really care about saving the world, but I am different now. I want to protect this world in which you and I live, show. I wonder if things are different if you've maxed their bonds. I'm also wondering what happens if you've got a traitor still around by this point. It seems like this is the climax of it all. It's rather exhilarating, don't you think? Now that we've come this far, we have to survive no matter what. And in order to do so, show, let's give it all we've got one more time. I won't lose to myself ever again. I'm going to stop using my powers as an excuse. Let's protect this world, show. If it's destroyed, I'll only be able to sing requiems. 
I don't want that. Let's do this in style, like a bunch of badasses. <laughs> and this looks like he has a slightly different portrait to normal. Really to blame for the deaths of our friends. Yeah. Let's go. That was actually pretty cool. Okay, so let me check this. Uh, we got a couple of enemies behind us. And oh right, it looks like uh, we can probably do this fairly. It just the only thing is this file right here. Yeah, this file right here. Let's do TOFs, that would mean Tower of Fate. Okay, I can still attack, that's good. Well, I've got pretty low accuracy from this range, though. And I'm out of range of everything except the regular attack, so this better hit. And of course it didn't. Right then, I don't think we're finishing this this turn. Though I do get an assist for this. Let's try ambush strike. Here I go. Eyes on me, buddy. And it's one shotted. Well, that was good. Now, if only I could one shot you. Not entirely sure if I can. Yeah, psychic assault is still her strongest attack. Not in fact fully sure if this is even a back attack. Well, it was, but was not a one-shot. I, I can only hope that maybe, just maybe, uh... Maybe we can actually get Nagi over there? It's possible. Health capsule plus plus. Commencing assault. Oh, I mean, I guess it's all right. Now, the question is, can I defer to Nagi with anyone? Yes, I can. Good. If I do this, I may be able to end this now. As Sumia would say in... Um, oh, not quite, but... And I can't defer. But, I do think... I could, actually... Ah... Uh, yeah, no, that would get Yoko no matter what. Let's see. Do have this, and that would get an assist. That's pretty much my only option here. Or I could go for Die Face. And it's down! We did finish the- wait, there's one enemy left, apparently. Oh, and that's the one right behind us. Oh yeah, I was gonna use Mana and Toya for that together. Okay, yeah, so still one enemy left. Um, there's no chance that I can get some kind of a massive critical and end this now. Barrage is- all oh, Earth Crash is pretty strong too, but, um, Barrage is a bit safer, I guess? Yeah, no, that's not enough. That's nothing. That's nothing. Huh, wow. No damage at all. These things must be really weak. And of course, you're using a non counterable attack. Let's do this. So, this took one extra turn. Oh well, I'm guessing this is still an S rank, so I should be fine. That is out of even, um. Wait a minute, though. It's out of Coil Shot, but it is not out of Tesla Bomb. And that's not going to hit Mana either. Maybe this power is good for more. Tiny Square Bomb! And down. That takes care of that. And that ends it! Let's go, everyone. We will be victorious in this fight. We were all gathered as members of Sealed for this purpose. Now is the time for us to save the world and all those who live in it. Prepare yourself for the end. Again, I'm wondering if we even know the full story here. And that was an S rank, good. And we get 
one VP from that, even though we can't use visions anymore? Interesting. Maybe that does mean VP carry over to a new game plus. I mean, that's honestly the only reason why you'd even get VP at this point in the game. So, we all get one gift experience from that. Okay, the screen went black for a bit longer than I thought it would, so I was wondering if there was going to be a cutscene, but it doesn't look like it. Let's see what we've got here in terms of, uh... Okay, so my guess is these three were just all of the optional missions on the floor, and now the, all that's left are the compulsory ones. Absolution and the Void. What the? Um... That doesn't look good. Okay, that doesn't look good at all. Um... Yeah, um... Hmm. Yeah, we... We can't... Yeah, we can't see what the enemies are here. Defeat the end. So, my guess is that... Yeah, we're fighting him now, but wait. There's one more mission on this floor. Unless... Unless this is the final battle for the normal ending, and if you fulfill the criteria for the true ending, there's one more mission after this. That may be it. Either that, or you fight the end twice, but then again they say this last battle will decide everything, which means that this sounds very final to me. But again, uh, yeah, there's one more spot for a mission here, so that should clue you in that there's something going on here. There's a, there's a little bit more to this, basically. I'm guessing, and you still get S rank rewards, so I'm guessing they must carry over to a new game plus, but, uh, I'm guessing what this means is, uh, when it says enemy information unknown, it's probably because that if you have traitors still with you, I think this might be the point where they actually turn to the enemy side and you have to fight them. Fighting Yoko sounds absolutely terrifying. In fact, fighting anyone sounds really terrifying in this game, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, Ajito would be pretty bad too. Looks like we don't have any conversations either. Yeah. So, nothing left to do but just, um... Get some more gifts, I guess. Uh, I mean, there is temptation to go... Okay, I'll talk about my ideas for what to do next, um, later. Hmm. Let's see. I guess I could level up Oblivion a little more. And, like I said, lightning boost, which will lead to electrode shock. Now for mana. Oh yeah, I was going for mounting rage. That suddenly costs a lot more GP, but that power is pretty significant. Right here I was going for one of these. Let's see. Warp flow, possession. Who has possession? Uh, you have side effects, uh, brutality... Uh, Marco has possession! Interesting. But well, he didn't have a chance to unlock possession in this playthrough. Guess I could get overload? Wait, lowers target's agility and move. Psychic based area attack, psychic based attack on target, okay. Uh, I guess we'll go for Overload. Now, I'm pretty sure that, from what I hear, GP... I mean, not GP... Yeah, Gift Experience carries over to a new game plus, so... If I get Amnesia, though... I can sense even more. Okay, that came just in time, because using that on the end sounds like a very good idea. Quick step sounds useful too, actually. I'll get that. Funny that you can level up summon allies. Maybe that just increases its um Why does summon allies have range? It seems to affect everyone on the map, regardless of where they are. 
that's kind of strange. Anyway, let's see if we can afford another weapon. Might not exactly be able to at this point. Well, we can afford another uh, Magna Burst. Well, we can't get any of these. Well, I mean, it feels right to get the most powerful weapon available for show at this point. Although, I that Psy boost looks very good on Yoko. I mean, she would really appreciate that Psy boost. That is a pretty considerable attack boost, though. But Yoko would appreciate that Psy boost. Honestly, I kind of think Sho's fine as he is. I kind of want the extra Psy on Yoko, and attack power certainly doesn't hurt either. So, as for what I'll do next, this is the thing. Again, this being a blind run, I'm not entirely sure whether this is the final mission or not. So, I can't quite plan out how I'm going to do this. But, I seem to think that this might be the final mission if you're going... if Well, not if you're going for... If you're getting the normal ending, and the true ending final mission is the one at the very bottom of this list. So, yeah, the question is whether I do some more missions to unlock at least um, the second best possible equipment for every character, like to get enough to buy that, uh, and maybe level up people a little bit more, get a bit more gift experience before I go for the end. But part of me wants to see if I can do it at my current level, because um, generally when I play any like RPG with a leveling system, I like to basically just uh, see how far I can get without resorting to grinding. Basically, um, see if, you know, if I just do every mission and don't repeat anything, well, I've repeated things to um, check visions for traders, but other than that, just try and see if just playing through the whole game normally gets me enough experience to be able to last. I've been doing pretty well in these missions so far, so I feel like my level is kind of adequate, but I'm not totally sure. So, um, yeah, I'll have to think about this a little bit. But um, anyway, see you in the, ne in the next episode where apparently we're going to fight the end. Is it going to be the end? I'm not sure because I'm playing this blind. So... Both you and I will find out next time. Uh, yeah, I forgot to show that file I just got, so gonna go and show that. So, yeah, whoops. TOF's disposal. The erasure is over. My team is still assigned to the task of manipulating the children's memories, so we'll be leaving the tower in roughly three more days. We've been supplied with enough subsidiaries to live in relatively... relatively for the next ten years or so, but... It will be a hollow existence indeed with the knowledge we're forced to bear. It's impossible to observe from over here, but if all went according to plan, our counterparts on the other side should take the children into custody and leave the tower in three more days. And yet... The pride of succeeding in prolonging the life of all mankind is long gone. Somehow I cannot help but feel envious of the me over there. Each time it crosses my mind, the weight of our actions hits me, and I truly feel terrible for what we've done to these children. Still, I want to survive. Against that desire, everything else seems... secondary. Well, that's bizarre! Okay, yeah, now, let's see what we've gathered from this. Firstly, something called Erasure happened already. Secondly, these people who are researching on the children seem to be aware of alternate universes, and they seem envious of the people in the alternate universe, or like, their alternate selves. 
They manipulated the children's memories, and they'll be leaving the tower and possibly disposing of it. So my guess is this same tower is the one that, that the children were tested on, and that perhaps this exact same thing where they would all have to progress through this tower and erase each other, that happened when they were children. And maybe back then, Sho was a jerk and decided to erase everyone else just to keep himself alive. Maybe that's why the end wants revenge. The pride of succeeding in prolonging the life of all mankind is long gone. The weight of our actions... It's interesting, and then the end is talking about how they... He wants us to know... He wants to punish us for our sins, so it's starting to make sense, but we don't have all quite have all the pieces yet. Anyway, I'll see you in the next part, which may or may not be the final part of the first playthrough. Who knows?